What is up, everybody? I hear a giggle in the background. This is our third episode of What's Up with Matthew Sitz. And we have a very special guest. Like I said in the last episode, everybody is special in one way or another. And this very special, important guest is the uh, Chicago favorite, court favorite, Sean Cross, an actress. Are you there, Sean? I'm so nervous. <laughs> yes, I'm here. You're doing great. <laughs> okay. Um, Sean, how are you? What's going on? How are you? Want to keep this light, right? I mean, you know, light, dark doesn't matter. No, man, we're coping. We're good. I'm just getting used to a whole new routine. I'm a teacher now. I'm a lunch lady. I'm a custodian. I'm a cleaner. I'm I'm all these things, and uh, I can't complain. I really just won't. Can't complain. Um, I'm doing all right. I got my health so far, and um, we're figuring it out. Yeah, so, amen to that. Yeah, yeah, and you know what, Sean, I'm I'm gonna you you're you're underselling yourself. You were always those things, <laughs> and you're an actress, so don't undersell. You are crushing it. Thank you. Um, I appreciate for it. everything that you've done. And yeah, it's uh, it made me think. Um, shout out to all the homeschoolers because I feel like all the homeschoolers are going. Come on, this is nothing, right? Like homeschoolers from like that have been homeschooling. Yeah, that have been. They through, all you know. just must be laughing. Yeah, right. <laughs> You got yeah. you got three three boys, right? Three boys, yeah. Three boys. Yeah. And this show is sponsored by them. That's right. Sponsored by three wise guys. Three they're wise all guys. Inside. Yeah, they're all inside building different projects. Uh, make your own Beyblades and uh, make your own web slingers. And you know those science videos of like, here's an interesting science experiment. Pour hydrogen peroxide <laughs> and lemon juice into your bathtub and put food coloring in it. That's where we're at. Wow. <laughs> we're not doing it. I just said oh. no, but like. <laughs> I was like, much. man, we're going to have to have a whole series just for that. <laughs> Talk to me next week, but not yet. Um, you cooking? You, you, are you making anything? Any, you know, like any new recipes or are you just like Burger King takeout every night? No, we're, um, I'm just, I haven't brought myself to bring much into the house. We're really careful with the groceries that we bring in the house and, sanitizing everything and that's just the whole process so we're just we're uh, digging deep and creating new recipes based on what's in the pantry which is actually kind of great everybody's a little more adventurous because we have to be and yes we have come upon some cool recipes there's a vegan cheese i never thought we're not really vegan but try this out it's okay. cashews mostly nutritional yeast and then like onion and garlic and jalapeno if you want and salt and pepper put it all in a blender and it makes like this creamy delicious cheese i swear you wouldn't know that it wasn't cheese it is delicious my meat eating carnivore husband is all in for the cashew yeast cheese and uh it's so good cashew cashew yeast cheese <laughs> i didn't sell it real well I, I, no 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 no. i think we have to it's when you describe it it sounds actually pretty good oh, but so i think we have to work on the name it's true it's true yeah. just, but uh, you didn't come up with the name you just you're you're finding ingredients in the in your in your cupboard yeah and going what can i do with all this and then if you look to the internet there is pretty much <laughs> something for any combination of ingredients so now we're going to switch to the portion of our episode where we have a question. Um, actually, it's, it's more of a, 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 a topic, and this is called Work With, Chill With, Party With. I'm going to name three people okay. in the theater industry, and you have to pick one that you'd like to work with on a project, one that you'd like to hang out with for one day and one that you'd like to party with uh-huh and these are some <laughs> these are some doozies <laughs> all right tom stoppard rosalind franklin henrik ibsen <sighs> yeah okay i know i don't i don't think that i would want to work with rosalind franklin number one she's a crystallographer um number two the whole play now not saying that the play is just like exactly her life but 
is about how difficult she was to work with because she her standards are like above everybody else's standards and she does things her way that's also me and so no i don't feel like that would be a good it just, it just, combo uh -uh. so process of elimination not working with roslyn ibsen huh i think i want to work with tom stoppard because he's wicked smart uh he has a viewpoint that is so drastically different than mine that that would be a good work partner so i'm working with tom okay okay working um, with tom Bing. working with tom you know ibsen i think he spent a lot of time chilling i i, I think that from the dramaturg information that we got he took a lot of vacations just so he could sit and like ponder bodies of water or mountain landscapes and stuff. So that might be kind of zen. Just chill with Ibsen. Chill right? with Ibsen. Yeah. And that means I'm going to party with Rosalind. And you know what? I think she might be a little wild. I think I... Like, when she's off duty, she might party just as hard as she works. So party yeah, with I... Party, party with Rosalind. All right, Sean, are you ready for the spinning wheel of wonder? Yes. The wheel of wonder. All right, here we go. So that's where I spin this fancy, like very fancy uh, wheel. Can I spin this one, right? You, you sure can. Yeah, we'll time it together, okay? okay. Um, and again, for the viewers that are just uh, jumping in, um, some of the options are, and not all of the options are, bongo beat poem, sing a song, uh -huh. Leave the frame and explain what's in the background. Celebrity crush. Do your best impersonation. Call Ooh. a family member right now and check up. And ask Matthew Sitz any question you want. Okay, ready? Yes. Go. Oh, great. This is... Bongo <laughs> beat oh. poem. It is not. You just said it is. Nobody can see what it really says. It says it right there. What is a bongo beat? What? Don't worry. I've got them right here. Oh, man. All right. So this is where you, this is like we're in a poetry slam. Yeah, I'm getting into it. And, you know, it could just, it, you know, quite honestly, it could be a nursery rhyme. I don't care. It could be anything. So you say mm -hmm. something and then I'm going to accompany it with, uh, you know, you say a phrase and then I'm going to, uh, you know, accompany you. Um, so after you, after you stop the phrase, then I'm going to, so look at, look at everybody. Look at Sean. She's already getting ready. She's staring out. Okay. Sean, whenever you're ready, everybody, this is the wheel of wonders. Bongo beat poem and scene. Face masks, do I need them? Yes, of course I need them. I need five. I need five face masks. Is a t-shirt enough? Should I get my sewing machine out? We're almost out of peanut butter. One glass of wine, is that medicinal? Two glasses of wine, not medicinal. Stop drinking wine. Drink bone broth. Change my clothes. Haven't worn a bra for three days. Just took a shower only for this. Don't read the news. Read your Bible. Meditate. Pray. Go to sleep. Namaste. <laughs> Wow, Sean, everybody, we've got to give it up for Sean. Sean, was that an original piece? Um, yeah, yeah. That was, that was very impressive. And I couldn't even, for whatever technical reasons, I couldn't even hear your beat. So I just really had to generate my own beat that I felt like was coming from you. I, I think, think that might have worked better than the actual beat. So that was special. Thank you, Matthew, for that. Absolutely. I'm shaking. <laughs> Well, have a gla have a glass of that um umbro. Umbro? That you just said. Have a glass of umbro in the wine. Did I say umbro? I don't know. Maybe I did. I was transported. I have no idea what happened. Um, something's happening. Oh, hold on a second. I'm getting an update from my producer.
bone broth. Yes, bone broth. Bone broth. Thank you, Brent. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Not, um, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was so focused on my terrible bongo playing, and I was so entranced by what you were saying. Right. No, I think we work together on that just fine. You, you need to be kind to yourself at this time. You're right. Gosh darn it. And people like me. That's right. And people like you, Sean. Thanks. <clears throat> I'm so it. sorry they couldn't see, you know, your production, but um, we're going to bounce back from this. We're going to bounce yeah. back. Better yeah, than one ever. Day at a time. One moment at a time. Just don't worry about a thing. Every little thing is going to be all right. Yeah. Don't worry about a thing. Every little thing is going to be all right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sean, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us this uh, very fine um, third episode of What's Up with Matthew Sitz. Um, you know, we're going to sign off here, but do you have anything to say to the viewers? Everybody I've come in contact with that is affiliated with the court, including the board and subscribers and um, <clears throat> donors, and I feel like I've met a lot of them and have had at least a dinner with them every time I've done a show. Everybody's so generous and so invested and so intelligent and passionate. So love right back from me. And then also just, I'm finding it hard to keep an even keel. So just breathe in for three slow moments and out for three and just keep doing that until you remember how you are loved and everything's okay. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna be awesome. Okay. Thank you so much, Sean. Everybody, this is Matthew Sitz with our very special guest, Sean Cross. Sean, thank you so much. And this is Matthew and Sean signing off.